Good afternoon. So good to be with you again. Bill Pfeiffer from Marysville. Uh, today it is uh, Black History, and I would like to buy $3 worth of God, please. An older African-American woman was standing on the side of an Alabama highway trying to endure a lashing rainstorm. Her car had broken down and she desperately needed a ride. Soaking wet, she decided to flag down the next car. A young white man stopped to help her, generally unheard of in those conflict-filled 1960s. The man took her to safety, helped her get assistance, and put her into a taxi cab. She seemed to be in a hurry, but wrote down his address and thanked him. Seven days went by and a knock came on the man's door. To his surprise, a giant console color television was delivered to his home. A special note was attached. It read, Thank you so much for assisting me on the highway the other night. The rain drenched not only my clothes, but also my spirits. Then you came along. Because of you, I was able to make it to my dying husband's bedside just before he passed away. God bless you for helping me and unselfishly serving others. Signed, sincerely, Mrs. Nat King Cole. What a beautiful story. You know, a story of, uh, uh, of brotherhood and compassion. Uh, a, a story that, that, that our culture really needs to hear and celebrate these days. One of the tasks assigned to uh, Christians and everyone on the planet is to le raise the level of our consciousness in our society in which we live. Jesus did it with the Pharisees, the Romans, you know, with the people of the Jewish people around him. Augustine did it. Thomas More did it uh, with Henry VIII's uh, culture. Dietrich Bonhoeffer in Nazi Germany, Martin Luther King and Cesar Chavez here in the United States, Dorothy Day here in the United States as well, Desmond Tutu, South Africa, Gandhi, India. You know, all of these people raised the consciousness level of the people with whom they lived. If we don't fulfill this particular mission, Jesus said, even the stones will cry out. That's how important this really is. In John's epistle, in chapter 1, he says, If anyone says, My love is fixed on God, yet hates his brother, he is a liar. One who has no love for the brother he has seen cannot love the God he has not seen. The commandment we have from him is this, Whoever loves God must also love his brother. I would like to buy $3 worth of God, please. Beautiful words from William Reese. I would like to buy $3 worth of God, please. Not enough to explode my soul or disturb my sleep, but enough to equal a warm cup of milk or a snooze in the sunshine. I don't want enough of him to make me love a black man or tithe my paycheck or pray for an hour a day or confront the actions of the media, bad leaders or institutions. I want ecstasy, not transformation. I want the warmth of the womb, not a new birth. I want a pound of the eternal in a paper sack. Just three dollars worth of God, please. It's not about information. It's about transformation. If you want happiness tomorrow, we have to do the truth today. Raise the consciousness level of the culture in which we live, all of the pieces of that culture. And we do that when we share our love and compassion at the deepest of levels. The only thing that separates us from the thought and the love of God is the thought that we are indeed separated. So happiness tomorrow, once more, depends fully on doing all of the truth today. God bless. Keep me in your prayers. You're in mine. Thank you.